de resurrección, Pastor Jose and Patricia. We want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church. And if you don't have a church, come join us. It's worth the drive. It's worth the walk. Amen. Depending Amen. on how far or how close you live, still, it's worth the drive. Amen. And we want to welcome all our um, uh, first-time visitors. We want to welcome all of you, all our church family, all of you that are joining us by audio and video. Amen. All we ask you to do is prepare yourselves to receive. What are we going to talk about today? We're going to talk about the resurrection. Amen. Amen. He is risen. Yes, Man, we need to be excited. Yes. You know, the world is loud about everything they want to want you to know. <laughs> They're not quiet. I mean, they just blast it out. We yeah. need to do the same thing. Yes. We need to be proud who we are. We're believers. Yes. We're children of God. Amen. He's our Heavenly Father with His children. See yourself that way. Don't yes. see yourself a loser. Don't see yourself a sinner. See yourself a child of God. If you ask Jesus in your life, you're a child of God. Amen. Yes. So you're a believer. And God has a mission for you. Amen. Amen. If you haven't asked Him yet, it's time that you do. And we'll get to it in a few minutes. Amen. Don't put it off any longer. Amen. So praise God. We're going to be talking about He is risen. And uh, I'm excited. You can tell. Grab your Bibles. And let's make this declaration together. Amen. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do today. I'll be taught the Word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let's remember one thing. The mind. The mind is the battlefield. Yes, it is. Amen. And you can think what you want. Positive or negative. Amen. The Bible tells us. In, in Proverbs 18, 21, that death and life are in the power of the tongue. Yes. So, you know, just because it pops in your head don't mean it's got to pop out of your mouth. Yeah. Say, wait a minute. Is that going to bless me or curse me? Right. I mean, this is something you got to tell yourself. You know what? If, I, if you have a weapon with you and it's loaded, you're going to think before you fire yeah. that thing. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So, listen. The words, your words are more powerful. Yes. Jesus Lord says he sends his word out and it goes and accomplishes what he wants it to do. Yes, That's how powerful words are. They're seeds of positive or negative. They're seeds of life or death. That's what the Bible tells us. So we be more selective of if it's going to bless you or it's going to curse you. But you have that choice. And the battlefield is the mind. And you're thinking these things. I say, you know what? I'm just going to give a piece of my mind. And I'm just going to blast. No. Hold on. Jesus had opportunities. And he healed himself. And he said nothing. And they were upset because he was quiet. Yes. Amen. You know what he was thinking? I said, oh, Father, help me. <laughs> he, just put a, uh, he just put a lock on that lip. And didn't say nothing. And we need yeah. to do some of that sometimes, you know, because we're so free to just blast. <laughs> Man, I don't know where it come from, but uh, <laughs> it, it is here. Yeah, yeah. But he's not finished with it. Amen. We're going to be right. talking about right. he's risen. Yeah. We need to be proud about our, our Heavenly Father, our, our, our Jesus, you know. Yeah. He's, he lives. He lives. Amen. So yeah. I'm getting a little hit of myself, but that's okay. I'm excited. I don't know about you. It's good to be excited. You know, we go yeah. to ball games, we go to all kinds of worldly events, and we get so excited. Oh, we even start dancing, you know, yeah. and say, Man, oh, I didn't know that was in me. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's in there. We just hold it down when we want to, you know. So <laughs> be bold, be loud, don't be quiet, you know. He says, I'll take you hot, I'll take you cold, but don't be lukewarm. You're just trying to. Please the world, you're trying to please God and just trying to play the field, trying to straddle the fence, you know. No, let's forget about that. He's risen. Be happy about it. Amen. Happy Resurrection Day. Yeah. The Bible says He's risen. Yes. We serve a risen, risen Savior. Savior. You know what else we need to know? We need to know that we, uh, let me see, how should I put this? Satan is a defeated foe. Uh huh. We need to notice if we know it, why are we afraid? He's not giving us a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and of a sound mind. He is a defeated foe. You know what? You need to remind him because he forgets. Yeah. You need to let him know that we are over him and he is under our feet. But you need to tell him. Yeah. You know, he's ignorant. He's dumb. Yeah. So praise God. He says, their final call 
he would not obey. We got some great ones for you. Uh, happy Resurrection Sunday. Keep going. He's risen. Happy Resurrection Sunday. Happy Resurrection Day. Yes. You know, the world don't want to hear this. No. The world wants you to be quiet. Yes. You know? Then it's okay for you to have, hey, well, Happy Easter, you know, and about Easter bunnies and uh, and uh, Easter baskets and uh, Easter eggs and all them things. That's fine, you know, but don't talk about him. Don't you know, him. don't talk about him. <laughs> it says, celebrating and remembering the rising, rising of our Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He's not dead. He's alive. He lives. Amen. Amen. Woo. If, if, Amen. You don't, if you don't know, we, you need to open your Bible. You know, that little cartoon I told you about, you know, he's saying, Lord, talk to me. He says, he reaches down from heaven and sticks down the Bible. He says, read the word. That's him. He's the word. We need to open it up and read it. Amen. Get the word from the covers in here. Amen. When you get it in here, it's going to come out of your mouth, out of your innermost being. It's going to flow rivers of living water, living water. Yes. Amen. So let's remember this. Uh, he's not dead. He's alive. <laughs> not like so these other worldly uh, heroes people talk about or uh, worldly gods and heroes that have died. Muhammad, uh, Buddha, Allah, Confucius, just a few. <laughs> also called worldly heroes died and never rose again guess what they still did mm -hmm. they still buried and we got evidence but they can't find Jesus right, amen. <laughs> he's not there I'm getting way ahead of myself I've been to the tomb I walked in the tomb <laughs> he's not there amen Woo, hallelujah it says Jesus died but he rose on the third day just like he said he would he did amen can we serve a risen Savior? The world cannot say that. The world cannot say that about their gods. We serve a risen Savior. The Bible says he's gone, he's gone to heaven and is seated at the right hand of God. That's a place of authority. Yes. Amen. So we know, what, and you know what he's doing? He's praying for us. He's interceding for us, for you, for me. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Amen. Lord. So we serve a risen Savior, a risen King, a risen Lord. Our Lord is alive. He lives. He is seated at the right hand of Father. <laughs> not about, it's not about uh, no, uh, Easter bunnies or Easter baskets or Easter eggs. Hey, we can do that, okay? But still, why? Because He came, because He died. Mm -hmm. And He gave His life for us, amen. He paid the price. Yeah. Well, we got some good ones for you. He's risen. Death couldn't hold him. Rejoice at the resurrection of Jesus. The king says, Where are the where is this child born? <laughs> he wanted to know where they were. You know why? Because he wanted to send enemy wanted to send somebody to go yeah. and knock him out. Yeah. Amen. So no, no, no. Jesus Christ. Amen. Keep going. Man, you got some good ones. Happy resurrection, son day. <laughs> Amen. This is the sun day. Amen. Yes. He is risen and he lives. Hallelujah. Man, I can't say that enough. And you know what? Don't be ashamed to say it yourself. Woo. Come on. Amen. Keep going. Amen. He paid it all. Keep the next one. You can open your Bibles to that scripture right there. Amen. Isaiah 53 and 5, King James. Ooh, man, we're going to use the word. Amen. That's what it's all about. Open your Bibles. Man. I got dust flying off of here. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Hallelujah. Isaiah what? Isaiah 53 5. Okay. We love this song. We sang this song before. It's a beautiful song. But let's see what Isaiah says. We're just going to do that one scripture there. Isaiah 55, uh, 53 and 5 says, um, mm -hmm. He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrow. And acquainted with grief. Yes. And we hid as it were our faces our face. from him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He was despised and we are esteemed him not. Amen. It says, but he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised by our iniquities. The, ch the chastisement of our peace was upon him. And by his stripes you were healed. Yes. He took the stripes for you, you know, every Sunday or every day you pray. You know why? By Jesus stripes, I'm healed. My yes. body is telling me this. My body is doing this. Mm -hmm. Some malfunctions going on. I feel this. I feel that. 
this sickness coming on you? I said, wait a minute. I got to tell myself, the word of God says, by Jesus Christ, I'm healed. So sickness has no place in me. I command sickness to leave now in Jesus' name. You can speak to it. You speak the word of God to it, and it's got to go. Hey, my body. The Bible says my body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Amen. So <laughs> I want this body to be the temple of the Holy Ghost. And I'm having sickness and anything coming against it to go in Jesus' name. Jesus took my stripes. Jesus took the stripes. So I'm standing on what the word of God says. So if you have ailments, if you have malfunctions going on, just say, by Jesus' stripes, I'm healed. Amen. Confess the word. Confess the way he said, yes. just speak the word. Amen. So, Amen. I mean, that's just a freebie. You can have that one. <laughs> you know what? As a matter of fact, I just want you to flip one page over and go to 5511. I just quoted you this one a few minutes ago, but I'm going to read it to you. Isaiah 5511 says, So shall my words be that goeth forth out of what? My mouth. My mouth. Mine. It means your mouth. It's got to come out of your mouth. Amen. It's got to come out of your mouth. It shall not return to me void. It shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the things whereto I send it. Yes. Amen. So the word is obedient. It's going to do what mm -hmm. he says to Amen. go and do. So words are powerful. So you got to be careful not to just waste them. Amen. Amen. Mm. I had to give them this. I had to say this. No, you didn't have to. You could have healed it. Because they weren't going, it's not going to bless you. And it's not going to bless them. Mm. We need to be more careful. We need to be <clears throat> careful, period. <laughs> Amen. So, those are good. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Ah, praise God. So, it's not about Easter bunnies and Easter baskets and Easter eggs. So, He's not here. He's risen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Like I said, I had a privilege of being there. I enjoyed my trip to Israel. It was a long flight. <laughs> and uh, Hosea is not into flying. <laughs> and that's 11 hours of flying. Okay. So left uh, New Jersey <laughs> all the way to Israel. Amen. And I said, oh, I was praying the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I've been to the tomb. I've been inside. I've been outside. The tomb is empty. Mm -hmm. Just like the word says. Yes. Amen. So praise God and what tells us he's not here. He's risen. So, but you know what? The world has proof, but he cannot, they cannot explain it. They, they want to, but they cannot explain it. Man, he's just not there. And uh, they ain't rolling a stone now. <laughs> just so Jesus can get, at, can get out. No. He didn't need nobody to roll the stone. And they rolled the stone so that they can see there's proof he's not there. He yeah. said he would rise on the third day and he did. He wasn't there. He was gone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to the world, Easter is just another holiday. Mm -hmm. We were talking about this yesterday. Mm -hmm. You know, to the world, it's just another holiday. Yes. You know, hey, another day off, three day, four weekend. Oh man, this is great. Mm -hmm. A party time, Easter egg hunt, mm -hmm. foods, barbecues, travel, vacation. Easter break, Easter holiday mm -hmm. is now just a spring break. Yeah. yeah. Amen. It's just that they're trying to put it down. Just. You know, it's nothing. You know, it's nothing. You want the world to just change this. You know, and say, well, that's when Jesus rose. No, it's just a, a school break. We're just taking a break from school. You know. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. Keep going. I'm excited. I don't know about you. <laughs> but it says, John 3.16. What it says, have a blessed Easter. It says, for God so loved the world. We're talking about world. We're talking about people. Okay, so he's called us to go amongst people and be witnesses. Mm -hmm. And we can do this. The Bible says you can do all things all through things. Christ. Amen. But he says, for God so loved the world. He yeah. told his son, son, I'm going to send you. I'm going to sacrifice you. And he agreed. <laughs> and he came and he was sacrificed. For God so loved the world. We're talking about people. So you can't get away from people. You know, hey, I don't go anywhere. I just stay home and do nothing. Yeah. I don't want to be around people. Well, guess what? We got to be around people. But we got to be the witnesses God wants us to be. Not just held back, hold back and do nothing. For God so loved the world, He gave His only, His one and only Son, that whoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have eternal life. John 3.16. 
And you got you got to read that, highlight it, and underline it, and personalize it. Amen. Oh, yeah. For God so loved the world that That's He world. gave. Hey. Amen. And we got to give our time, give up ourselves. You know, hey, I used to give myself to go and do whatever the world wanted and whatever Jose wanted. Yeah. But we can't give ourselves to God. Oh no. Sports, you know. sports. Later, later, later. <laughs> Man, I was into all kinds of sports. <laughs> but uh no, nah, not anymore. I'm doing it for him now. Amen. Amen. He, he called me and, and I answered and, and I'm still going. Mm -hmm. Amen. We need to do the same thing. Whatever it is, you know, we we don't compare, we don't compete. We we just uh we just we just help one another mm -hmm. we complete one another yes amen you, sister you can make it brother you can make it mm -hmm. big or small it doesn't yes. matter as long as you're doing it under him he's going to bless you yes i say thank you for doing that you need somebody to do that say no here am i send me yes, yes. man all you need yes. to do is be available <laughs> we talk about this all the time we need to be available jesus made himself available he says father I make myself available. Yes. He, he could have turned it down and said, man, it's nice and peachy up here in heaven. Why would I want to go and be sacrificed? You know? But we need to give up ourselves. We used to give ourselves to go any time of day, any time of night and do stuff, whatever for the world. <laughs> and getting all kinds of mess and all kinds of troubles. But we can't do one little thing to go over and tell a child or some person God loves you. Amen. Be kind. You know, it's the best thing you could be is to be kind to somebody. Yes. The world's already put them down, and we're doing the same thing. Mm. For God so loved the world, that means that person too. Yes. Amen. That person that everybody's putting down, mm -hmm. we shouldn't join them. We should be there for them yes. and say, you know, Jesus died for you. Uh -huh. Amen. Woo! You know what they need? They need Jesus. Amen. Yes, Hallelujah. So you know what? Easter is just another holiday, party, entertainment, mm -hmm. uh, Easter egg guns, foods, all kinds of stuff, you know, but still. The believer Easter or resurrection is Jesus raising from the dead. Yes. He said he would and he did. Yes. And there's proof. <laughs> and they can't prove it. They're still trying to keep it hush. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Jesus paying the price in full. Amen. John 3 16. You know that you're talking about agape unconditional love to be sacrificed to give your best amen <laughs> celebrating the resurrection yes. daily not just once in a while you know we don't said we don't celebrate christmas or easter just once a year you celebrate it every day thank yes. you lord thank you lord Ooh, hallelujah new beginnings <gasps> salvation a free gift john 10 10 10 uh 10 9. We just I read that in the uh, Bible, uh, Bible uh, study. Let's go there. Romans 10 9. Romans. Romans. Book of Romans. Ooh. Open your Bible. So, as a matter of fact, I still got my little Bible uh, sheet here. From, uh, Romans 10. Romans 10 9 says, well, start at verse 8. It says, but saith if the word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth yes. and in thine heart, heart. Uh -huh. that is the word of faith mm -hmm. which we preach. The word should be in your mouth, should be in your heart, talking about in your spirit. Mm -hmm. Amen. In your spirit, verse 9 says, If thou, if you shall confess with thy mouth mm -hmm. the Lord Jesus and believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be Save. saved. Amen. Yeah. That's all he wants us to do, to receive him as Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. Amen. And when you do, he says, you belong to him. Mm -hmm. Now you start living for him and doing for him and making yourself available and yeah. studying and studying so you can grow and mature in the things of God. Amen. Yeah. You just don't stay a baby Christian all your life. You want to mature and, and grow in the things of God. Amen. Because yeah. you know what? As you grow up to your, your, your maturing le uh, level, New devils, new devils. Oh, come on now. <laughs> and, oh, and who are you going to fight? Oh, You're going to fight the enemy. Yeah. And the enemy is going to be there. Mm -hmm. And every step higher you go, mm -hmm. different levels, new devils. Mm -hmm. Amen. But you know what? Greater is he that's in you than he yeah. that's in the world. Thank Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. There ain't no match to him. But you got to stay strong in him. Yeah. You got to stay connected. You got to be 
strong in him. Ooh, man, I'm blessed already. Amen. <laughs> Ooh, if you don't see yourself that way, come back and we can pray for you. Yes. And you can just say it. Yes. And you can start doing it for him. Amen. Ooh, glory. <laughs> Praise God. Keep going. Thank you, Lord. Ooh, hallelujah. See? All you drivers out there. <laughs> You got a lot of signs out there that you follow, amen? <laughs> One of them is speed limit signs. So you, you got to be careful. You so-called Christians, you know, you don't always speed going somewhere. Going somewhere. Go by the speed limit, amen? But it says one way, and it's going which way? Uh -huh. It's pointing up. Oh, yeah. There's only one way to heaven, oh, amen? Yeah. And this scripture tells us, it says, John 14, 6, says what? It says, Jesus says, I am the way. Mm -hmm. The truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So if you're watching, you're listening. Listen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't care who told you what. Yeah. So and so okay. told you this, or tradition told you this, or religion told you this. Uh -huh. This is what the Word of God says. Yeah. Jesus says, "I am the I only am way. Us. You don't go to the Father except through me." Amen. That means you gotta receive him first. Amen. If you receive him first, then you have salvation. Amen. Amen. You have salvation. That means <laughs> you're gonna be with him for eternity. And that's what I like. That's what I want. Amen. So praise God. John 14, 6, New, uh, New Living Translation says, Jesus told him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. There's no other way. <laughs> There's no other way. He is the only way. He is uh, the the truth and he is the life. Mm -hmm. So we need to accept him. We need to receive him. You know, when somebody gives you a gift, the father gave us a gift. He gave us his only son. Yes. Amen. And he was sacrificed, but we wow. have to take that gift that he's given us and receive him as our Lord and Savior. And after that, you have eternal life. Woo, hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Keep going. I'm going one way. I'm going up. You choose. You can go up or you can go down. There's only two ways. There's no sideways. That's it. <laughs> you, can go, you can go up or down. Yeah. The four Gospels give an account. And these are, you can write these down. You can go read them for yourself. But Matthew 28, 1 through 10. Mm -hmm. Mark 16, 1 through 14. And Luke 24, 1 through 44. And John 10. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. 21 through 31. These Gospels record the resurrection. Amen. Amen. So you can find all four Gospels. Give it. Keep going. Man, this is good. I like yeah. it. <laughs> all right. You can hold on right there. <laughs> Praise God. And you know what starts off? He's not here. He's risen. Matthew 28, 25 and 6 says, An angel says to the woman, be careful who you entertain. Mm -hmm. You may be entertaining an angel. <laughs> so be careful. Angel tells the woman, do not be afraid. For I know that you're looking for Jesus. <laughs> mm -hmm. He's going to read your book. He's going to read your mail. <laughs> 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 who was crucified. He's not here. He is risen. Just as he said. So he's confirming his word. Jesus says he's going to rise. He says, you're looking for Jesus. He said he would rise, just like he said. Mm -hmm. So come and see the place where he lays. Mm -hmm. Here's proof. He's gone. He's not here. Oh. You saw his grave clothing there. They were, they were just laying there. Mm -hmm. So she saw that. Woo, hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> Talking to an angel. Look out now. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be prayed up before I see one. <laughs> I want to come out of my skin. You know? <laughs> Help me, Lord. <laughs> Woo, keep going. The book of Mark mm -hmm. gives an account. Let me read it to you. Um, oh, it's Matthew. Still Matthew. This is uh, verses uh, 5 through 7. Uh -huh. But it says, And the angel answered and said unto the woman, Fear not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ye, for I know that ye seek Jesus, which mm -hmm. was crucified. Yes. Fear not. <laughs> you see an angel. He says, Warning. <laughs> Don't be frightened. <laughs> <laughs> He's not here. He's risen. He oh, says, Jesus. come see the place where the Lord lays. Mm -hmm. Then go quickly and tell his disciples that he has risen from the dead. Mm -hmm. And behold, he goeth before you into Galilee. Yes. There 
shall ye see him. No, I have told you. Amen. The angel did what he had to do. Yes. He just told him, come see. Mm -hmm. He's not here. But could you go tell your, your disciples, mm -hmm. you know, that he is roasted and he is going into Galilee and we'll, he'll see you there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I said, whoo, hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. Right. Okay, this is Mark's account. King James says, be not frightened. Again, <laughs> you're talking angels here. <laughs> you never see one. No, <laughs> don't say how much are you going to be because he says, Be not afraid, do not be alarmed. This is another translation, New King James. But he said to them, Do not be alarmed. You see Jesus. Well, he reading their mail again. You see Jesus of Nazareth who was crucified. Mm -hmm. He's risen, he's not here. See the place where he laid, where we laid him? It's, he's gone. I mean, everything is gone. Ooh. Hallelujah. If that don't mm -hmm. get you something, mm -hmm. keep going. Amen. You see this things are laying there. This is Luke's account here. New King James says, he's not here. He is risen. Remember how he spoke to you when he was still in Galilee saying, the son of man will be delivered into the hands of sinful men mm -hmm. and be crucified. But on the third day he will rise again. Yes. Amen. He will rise again. Hey, new sunshine. New, new sunrise. He has woke up. He is out. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. <laughs> and uh, it says, why was the stone rolled away? The stone was not rolled away for Jesus to come out. <laughs> that was not going to hold him. Amen. It says the stone was rolled away so the woman and all the witnesses could see the tomb was empty. They had to step in and say, yeah. Even the angel says, come, mm -hmm. see, yep. he's not here. Mm -hmm. And it took, it wasn't moved by men, mm -hmm. okay? It would have took a lot of men to roll that stone. It wasn't oh, just yeah. a little bitty stone. It was a heavy stone. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. The empty tomb made visible to all proof he's not here. The empty tomb is the greatest evidence for the resurrection of Jesus. He yes. is alive today. And forever. Ever. Amen. Amen. The world's mad. The world's upset because mm. they can't prove it. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to be mad for a long time. Amen. Yeah. The Bible says he took the keys of death, hell, and the yeah. Keep going. Yes. <coughs> He's risen. John's yeah. account 11, uh, 25 and 26 says, He is risen. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection. Mm -hmm. And the life. Yes. Who, uh, whoever believes in me, though he dies, yet he lives. Yes, shall he live. And everyone who lives and believes in me mm -hmm. shall never die. Yes. He says, Do you believe this? Mm -hmm. Do you believe this? Then you confess him as your Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. Those of you watching, those of you listening, mm -hmm. if you ain't never confessed him as your Lord and Savior, it's time you do. Yes. Amen. Why you keep putting it off? I mean, you know, you keep having these problems. You can't go keep going through the same cycle over yeah. and over and over. over, and over. You know, <coughs> you got to stop this. The only way yeah. you're gonna stop it is confess him as your Lord and yes. Savior. Yes. Yes. Let him come into your life, change your life, amen. Yes. So all you gotta do is says, Lord, I repent, come to my life, be my Lord and Savior. You know, yeah. when you confess it with your mouth, he will hear yeah. and he will come in and sup with you. Mm -hmm. Amen. But you have to say it with your mouth, confess it with your mouth. Woo, hallelujah. And Amen. bless me. I don't know about you. Praise God. But it's worth it. Amen. Yes. It's worth eternity. Yes, I want to spend eternity with him, not in hell. Right. Amen. Yes. Nowhere else. I don't care where everybody else shows the Bible says. <laughs> I don't want to go there. Yes, yes. No. Hallelujah. Leave him right there. You're in trouble. Revelation 1 8 says, says mm. I am he that lived and was dead. <gasps> and behold, I'm alive mm -hmm. forevermore. Yeah. Amen. And he gave the keys of hell and death and the grave. Amen. King James says, he, I am he that liveth and was dead. And behold, I am alive, alive forevermore. Yes. Amen. And have the keys of hell and of death. The uh, New Living Translation says, I am the living one. I died, but look, I'm alive forever and ever. And I hold the keys of death and the grave. Uh -huh. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. I'm, 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna line up. I'm gonna receive now in Jesus' name. Praise God. He rose and sit, seated at the right hand of Father, a place of authority to intercede for us. Keep going, man. These are good. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Romans eight thirty four. Write these down. Amen. Uh huh. The New King James says, "Who is he who can who, who condemns? Uh -huh. Is is it Christ who died? And furthermore, is also risen? Mm -hmm. Who is even at the right hand of God? Mm -hmm. Who also maketh intercession for us? Yeah. This is just some scripture telling us that He is in heaven. Yes. He's no longer here. That's He's right. gone to heaven. He was taken into heaven. He gave yeah. his, He told His disciples." Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Lay hands on the sick. Cast out devils. He told every one of us to do these things. Yes. His children. Right. We're his children. We're his church. Uh -huh. Go into the world and do these things. Before uh -huh. he was taken up into heaven. And he went up into heaven. And now we got proof. And here's scriptures telling us that he is seated in heaven. At the right hand of the Father interceding yeah. for us. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Here's some proof right here. Mm -hmm. Who is he who condemned? It is Christ who died. And furthermore, it is also risen, who is even at the right hand of God, who also makes intercession for us. Yes. So he's not just there, you know, doing nothing. He's in there praying yes. for us. Rooting us on. Amen. And all the other Christians gone before us, you know, they're rooting for us. All these other Bible heroes, they're rooting for us. Hey, you know, we're on the same team. We're on God's team. Yeah. We're on the winning team. The winning team. See yourself on the winning team. Amen. There's no losing, losing in Him. Amen. Amen. If you're on God's team, you win. You don't lose. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> don't give up. Don't back down. Just press on. Amen. Woo. Romans 8 34. Keep going. I like these. Ephesians nice. says, Ephesians says, which he worked, which he worked in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at the right hand in heavenly places. Mm -hmm. In heavenly places, this one says, God raised him. God raised Jesus from the dead and seated him at the right hand in heavenly places. Amen. So, man, we got proof. You know, the world knows yeah. these, and they're mad because they can't prove it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> It's the truth. What the Bible yeah, says, yeah. the truth, yeah, yeah. Is, the, the, the word is the truth. The truth is the word of God that sets us free. Yeah. Yes. Sets us free from all this mindset, from yeah. all these negative things the world tries to say. Well, so-and-so says, the world says, they say, what do they say? Mm -hmm. Well, this is what they say. Mm -hmm. Well, show me scripture. Where in the Bible does it say that? Well, no, we don't have it on Scripture. We, the world just says so. Traditions yeah. says so. Uh, well, excuse me, but I, I'm not taking it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not receiving it, and I'm not going to do it. Amen? <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Keep going. Man, these are good. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, there's a place in the Bible where it talks about Jesus standing. He says he's seated at the right hand of God. There's one place in the Bible where he says he stood up. Oh, and that's yeah. when Stephen was yep. yeah. executed. Yeah. Basically, he was killed. Amen. For doing what mm -hmm. God wanted him to do. Yeah. Yeah. Acts 7, 55 and, uh, 7, 55 and 56 says, But Stephen, full of the Holy Spirit, looked up into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. Look, he says, mm -hmm. I see heaven open. And the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God before he gave himself back to the Father. Amen. Before he gave himself, before he died. Mm -hmm. But he was able to see into the spirit realm. Amen. A heavenly realm. And he saw Jesus standing, ready to receive him. Amen. Woo. Man. Mm -hmm. Praise yeah. God. It's in the word. The word is truth. And the truth is going to set you free. Yes. We got to get into the word and get the word in us. Yes. Amen. It's not, it's, it's not going to get in you any other way. You got to open it up and you look at it and read it and get it in you, study it, and meditate it, so that it can come out of you. Amen. All that worldly stuff that I learned, all the sports stuff I know, I learned it by seeing it, by studying it, and by getting it in me. Man, I can tell you about anything and everything. A sports announcer, a sports commentator, 
Man, a, a, a sports encyclopedia. I can tell you all those things. Oh, Jesus. How did I get it in there? I spent time into it. Oh. We got to do the same thing with the Word of God. And it's going to bless you more for eternity. Mm -hmm. And then we can do it for the world, but we ain't got time for Jesus now. We ain't got time for the Word, though. No. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I better I better stop here. <laughs> I better stop here. Somebody's uh We just want you to go out and have a blessed, blessed Easter Sunday. Yes. Amen. Yes. A blessed Resurrection Sunday, yes. and know that our Savior lives. Amen. Our Savior lives, regardless of what you hear, regardless of what people say. The Bible says he lives, amen? Yes. And he yes. lives forevermore. And he forevermore. lives there for us, interceding for us, amen? Yes. So let's remember this, praise God. God wants to bless Lord. you. He wants to bless you. He wants to bless you. And he wants to bless you even more. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. This is one scripture I have for you each and every day. Know this. He says, this is the first miracle each and every day when you wake up. He gives you a wake-up call every morning and says, I'm not finished with you yet. Right. I want you to go and do for me. It says, this is the day the Lord has made. The, I says, we will. But the we, you can take and, and say I. I will. And you can take the I and make it Jose. Personalize it. And say, this is the day the Lord has made. Jose will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. There's a lot of things coming your way. Yes. A lot of negative things coming your way. A lot of cares coming this way. Mm -hmm. A lot of distractions coming your way. A lot of worldly giants coming against you. Oh, yeah. But guess what? Greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. The Bible says I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So you know what? I'm going to rejoice in me glad because I know who I am and whose I am. Yeah. And when you have these things going for you, guess what? No devil in hell can stop you. Yeah. So press on. Happy Resurrection Sunday to you. Amen. Hallelujah. Listen, I'll say it again. If you haven't received him yet, it's time that you do. And all you have to do is say, Lord Jesus, come my life, be my Lord and Savior. And he will. Regardless of what the past is, regardless of what you've done, all you have to say is, Lord, I've, I've, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come my life, be my Lord and Savior. And you will start living for him. Start getting in the Word. Mm -hmm. Start getting the Bible-based church where you could press on, you know, Amen. and do for Him. And He wants to use you. He didn't put you here to lose. He put you here to win. Yeah. But you need to start doing for Him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Be here. Making yourself available to say, Lord, here am I. Send me. I'm excited. I want to go. I want to do this. Send me. I want to do this for you. Until He calls us home, we can stay busy for Him. He says, press on. You know, he first says, press on or go. He never says, uh, you know, just go go back. No, he says, don't look back. Just press on. Mm -hmm. Amen. Press on. We're pressing on with him. Amen. And if you have sickness in your body, speak the word of God to it. And say, by Jesus Christ, I'm healed. My, temp my body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. And I'm not, I'm not receiving any sickness in That's my it. body. I just cancel that sickness. Sickness, you must go in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, uh, malfunctions <laughs> I re I don't receive you every part of me inside and out function in the way God created it to function mm -hmm. so body line up with the word of God receive your healing now and I call my well, myself well I call myself healed in Jesus name <laughs> amen Woo, hallelujah amen. and it's time to give go to our website nbcbigben.com hit that donate button or if you're mailing it NBC PO Box 252 Marfa, Texas, 79843. And Cash App, uh, New Beginnings Church of the Big Bang. God bless you. Have a blessed and happy Resurrection Sunday. Amen. God bless you. Amen.